Beer Seekers, I'm Nick. You may have noticed that since the start of the year, just above the left hand side of my head when I'm talking to the camera, there was a random beige box sitting there with a Pentium 4 logo on it. Today, we're taking the wraps off the plans that we had for that case. You can actually see it here already. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure you're subscribed. In this video, we're building the first of many sleeper builds on the channel. This build is a showcase type of build and is not designed for daily use. It's not practical. It's, it, it's being built literally because I can. The airflow isn't important, the thermals aren't important, and the performance isn't important. It was built to look ugly and pretty both at the same time. The system was built inside of an NEC Express 5800 surface chassis that was donated by one of our good friends. It required a little bit of case modding to work, but nothing that we couldn't handle given the fact that we don't actually have a workshop to do crazy stuff to it. By the time you guys see this video, the system will probably have already been disassembled. So if I can't answer the questions about this system and the components and all that stuff, that's why. With all that said, let's get modding.
Let's talk parts because I'm pretty sure you guys all want to know. The motherboard we use is the Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Extreme. This board is pretty good and it's a decent overclocker. The CPU we use for this build is the Intel Core i9 9900K. The 9900K is an 8 core 16 thread gaming powerhouse and it is one of the, if not the fastest gaming CPUs ever created. It gets the job done. The GPU we use is the Gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Ti. Now, it's not the best RTX 2080 Ti thermally, but to be brutally honest, I couldn't care less because it looks amazing. There's no debating that, and that's kind of the point of this build. It's got the beauty on the inside. To cool the i9-9900K, we use the Cooler Master ML360R RGB AIO Cooler. We did an installation guide for Intel 11.5X boards not too long ago. If you want to check that out, it's in the top right-hand corner right about now. The RAM we used is 16 gigabytes of Gigabyte Aorus RGB RAM at 3200 MHz with the two dummy RAM modules to fill up all the slots. To power this beast, we use the brand new Cooler Master V Platinum 1300 watt power supply. It's rated at 80 plus platinum efficiency and it's 1300 watts. I reckon the name of the PSU gives it away. Yeah, we've got some really special plans with this PSU in the future, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Lastly, the case. It's from an NEC Express 5800 tower server. The original hardware was a Pentium 4 2.8 GHz with 1 GB of RAM and Windows Server 2003 Small Business Edition on a SCSI hard drive. Now we've still got the original hardware and we're going to be using that for a retro build next month so also stay tuned. The reason why I picked the NEC case over any other old cases that we have is because the case appeared to be more challenging to build in. It uses non-standard front panel wiring, it has basically nowhere to hide anything, and it's really, really skinny. I could have used like any other old cases that we have, but yeah, this one looked like it was gonna be harder to build in, and I like a challenge. Overall, the performance of the machine is exactly what you'd expect from a PC with an i9-9900K and an RTX 2080 Ti. Seriously. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It gets the job done and it gets it done really well. Special thanks to Gigabyte Cooler Master and Team Group for providing all of the important parts of this build. Without them believing in all of the cool stuff that we want to do on the channel, none of this would ever happen, basically because it's just too expensive. There's no way we could afford to buy these parts. Simple as that. If you're interested in any of the parts in the build, you can find links in the description down below. Also, if you guys want the music that I make that is featured in these videos, check out our Patreon and yes, I do make the music too. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, tell us what you hated about it. Tell us what we did wrong. Basically, tell us anything you want. YouTube, the comment section. You guys are always right, didn't you know? <laughs> Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek, and look at it. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. It's just a shame that I have to disassemble this one as well, but it is absolutely stunning.